I grew thinking God used only special people, those who were the most gifted, the most attractive, and the ones with the most dramatic testimony of conversion. I can still see these types of people standing before youth rallies and other worship gatherings, looking cool and telling their stories of how God changed them from a life of dangerous sinfulness and placed on the narrow road of service to Him. These testimonies were useful in terms of telling the truth about the life-transforming power of Jesus Christ. He saves from the guttermost to the uttermost. That is the gospel truth and multitudes of people can testify concerning it. However, in my young impressionable mind, I felt that I could not be used of God because in many ways, I did not measure up to the standards of the most talented and the most attractive. I sure did not have a dramatic testimony to tell others. Then, as I matured as a Christian, I realized that God can use all kinds of people in his kingdom service. That was welcome news for me. I began reading the Bible not looking for ideal role models and perfect people, but people like David, the psalmist, the warrior king and leader of his people. In Psalm 78, the psalmist is reciting an abbreviated history of Israel. In the last three verses, he describes the kind of person God uses as he describes what the Lord saw in King David. The psalmist focuses on several leadership qualities personified in the life of David. I. God uses people who have a sense of calling. In Psalm 78, 70, the Bible says, God chose David. The call from God to service begins with God himself. To others, David as a runt of a shepherd boy raised in family of taller and stronger brothers. Yet God called David to his service. This underscores the fact that man looks upon the outward appearance, but God looks upon the heart. For the believer, salvation is by grace through faith, but the call of God to serve him is his choice. At times I have served on ordination councils for young men going the ministry. The first thing I am looking for is a testimony of God's saving grace. The second signpost I am waiting to see is the person's distinct understanding that he has been called of God to the ministry. The call of God must be in a person's life or the other qualities will be nullified. 2. God uses people who have a sense of character. No one who is honest can describe David as perfect. His sins are many and they became public when Prophet Nathan said, You are the man. You can almost visualize the long, bony finger of Nathan pointing at David when those words gushed forth like a tidal wave of truth, slamming against the false pride of his life. This passage may have written prior to the time when David's moral indiscretion or adulterous act became known. The word integrity is used in some translations to speak of character. Other translators use the term pure in heart. Both of these expressions speak to the necessity of have a heart dedicated to doing God's will his way. The man after God's heart was once the pure heart that sees God and could be used of God in his kingdom service. Granted, the Lord used David after his sinful deeds, but not in the same ways as before. There was always a stain on the pure cloth. There was always a stigma of his sin in his life even. After Psalm 51, his confession was offered to God. God is capable of using anyone and everything for his good, but he is looking for those with character. He wants his servants to be people of a pure heart and a clean mind. That sense of character is indispensable for believers to be effective in serving Christ. 3. God uses people who have a sense of commitment. David was described as a servant who left shepherding sheep to be the shepherd of God's people. Before he could be the shepherd, he had to be a servant. Servant leadership begins with a servant attitude. That is why Paul challenged us to have the mind of Christ. Jesus was the epitome of the servant leader. While the disciples debated and argued who was the greatest, Jesus took a towel and proceeded to wash the dirty feet of the, these men. It was a lesson in servant-minded we should never forget. The King of Kings stooped to wash the feet of those who would never have been mistaken for greatness in the eyes of the world. Thank you for watching Topics on Trend. Go ahead and check out another trending video on our channel here.